Hi everyone, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create and configure pop-up form of your MailChimp on your WordPress website. Let's say that you choose WordPress as your main domain and you would like to do your marketing campaign through MailChimp. You can actually create a specific form, whether it's just a normal page of a form or a pop-up form on your WordPress and I'm going to show you how to do it today. First things first, you're going to want to create your MailChimp account, obviously. And once you're done, you're going to go to your WordPress admin editor or your admin settings. And then you're going to want to go to the plugins area and go ahead and choose add new plugins. Here on the plugin sections, you're going to search for a plugin named MC4WP and that is just an abbreviation for MailChimp for WordPress. So you're going to want to click install on this one right here and once you're done with the installation, you're going to want to make sure that you got the plugins activated. So go ahead and click on activate. Once you click on activate, you will be brought into a page that looks like this and I'm just going to scroll down until I found the plugins that we've just installed and activated and they're going to want to click on settings here as you can see we still got our status not connected because we will be needing the API key for our MailChimp so what we're going to do next is we're going to get that API key on our MailChimp this is why I told you that you will need to create your MailChimp beforehand so you're going to want to go to your MailChimp dashboard Go to the top right of your screen and then you will find this account and billing option. So you can go ahead and click on that. And then you want to want to click on the extra options and go ahead and click on API keys. And here you will be able to find your API keys. And if you haven't got any, you can just go ahead and click create API keys now. And here you're going to want to name your API key. In order to make things easier, I'm just going to name it WP test, which is WordPress test. And then I'm going to go ahead and activate key. Now, as you can see, you can only copy and see your key once. So make sure you copy your key real well and then go ahead and paste it into the API keys right here. And once you're done, you can go ahead and click on save changes. Once it's saved, you can then got your MailChimp account connected and now we can start editing our form. To edit the form, you want to go to the left side of your screen and you will find this form options on the navigation menu. So you can go ahead and click on the form option and we're going to create a new form. So first you want to name your form and let's say I want this form to be a subscriptions form. So that is how I name it. I'm just going to name it as subscribe now. And then I'm going to choose the eyes of the sun, which is the name of my business. And now we can start and customizing our form. So here we got the name and then below it, we will find our form fields. Here I already got the email form field inserted into the form code. So in order to add more fields, all you have to do is just choose from any of these buttons right here. So let's say that I want to use first name for my form. So here I got the first name field label and then for the placeholder, I'm just going to go ahead and use first name too. And then go ahead and click add to form. Next, I'm also going to add the last name. So I'm just going to repeat the steps. Last name for the field name and then for the placeholder, I'm just going to paste the same value. And then I'm going to go ahead and click add to form. So now you can see that I got sign up as my button. And let's say that I want to add some more submissions button. I can just click on the button below the edit fields and then you can see that I choose the submit button and I can rename the button for example I want it to be join now and then I can just go ahead and click add to form and now I got the buttons added in order to move the buttons around I can just cut and paste the code for that button so all I have to do is just copy the code from 
the front to the bottom and if I need to delete it I can just delete the specific code for a specific button or a specific fields and once you're done with that you can go ahead and click on save changes all right so here we got the short code that we can use in order to add this form into our wordpress website so all you have to do is copy this short code and then you're going to want to go to your wordpress website and I'm going to put it on the footer area. So here I am on my website footer. And the first thing I'm going to add is a paragraph because I would want to add the name for this form. So here I'm just going to go ahead and type in subscribe to our newsletter. And then you're going to want to paste the short code right below the paragraph or the text that we've just added. So this is how it will looks like for now the editor are going to automatically read it as a short code and all you have to do is click on save and the form will appear on your website so this is the dashboard of my website and if i scroll all the way down i will find the form for mailchimp that we've just created earlier it already appeared there so on the editor it might appear in the form of short code but as you can see it works just as a nicely now if you would like to create a pop-up form what you're going to do is you want to go to your mailchimp account and then you are going to create a pop-up form first through there here on your mailchimp account you'll find a pop-up form options on the sign up form section and here you're going to want to add the name for your pop-up form as well as the audience so before you can continue this tutorial make sure you have already created your audience on your mailchimp i have created mine already and the names of the audience is eyes of the sun and i'm just going to go to the next step and this is the preview of our pop-up form so you can see we got the mobile banner we got the email sign up we got the success page and then you can also add sms sign up if you want but i'm just going to stop until the email sign up here all of the things here are totally customizable you can change the text you can change the color if you want i'm not going to focus too much on that part so here i'm just going to let everything as it is after that, you want to want to click on the connect site button and then all you have to do is paste your WordPress URL and put it right here. And then you're going to want to click on the I accept the additional one and then you can go ahead and click on connect. Now we got the URL for the pop up form. Once you got your URL here, you're going to want to copy your URL and put it into your WordPress. So in order to add your URL from here to your WordPress, you're going to need another plugin and it's called Fluent Snippets. So you can go ahead and add new plugins on your WordPress and the name is Fluent Snippets. Once you've activated on the left side of the screen here you can find the fluent snippets options and all you have to do is click on it and now we're going to create our snippets so go ahead and click create a new snippets and you can see that there are different types that you can add and since this one's right here is actually an html code or html url so you're going to want to click on content and then go ahead and paste your code here and you're going to select the run location on the site wide header so you can go ahead and click on that one and you can name your snippet so for example i want it to be mc for mailchimp and i'm just going to add test for now and then you can add description snippet groups etc if you want i'm just going to skip that for now then go ahead and click on create snippets all right once we got the snippets created you're going to want to click on activate now that we got the snippets activated we're also going to go ahead and click on check connection on this one and you will know that it is a success because you will get a notification that says some things like this so it says that success your site has been connected and you can just turn this on if you're ready for the pop up to show and then you can go ahead and click on close as you can see i am now on my website and this pop-up form just 
shown and that means that we got the pop-up activated and if it doesn't pop up at the first time maybe it takes some times maybe you got a bad connection etc you can just try to refresh your blog or your website until you found your pop-up form and that's basically it that is how you can create a pop-up form of mailchimp to appear on your wordpress i hope this tutorial is helpful for you thank you so much for watching and have a great day